It's a vegan alert, y'all. Today's top stories. Vegan alert. Vegan alert. Today's top stories in the world of vegan stuff. All right, guys and guys, that's, let's delve right into it with today's top story. James Aspie's pancakes go viral. And when I'm referring to James Aspie's pancakes, clearly I'm not referring to underdeveloped glutes. As we all know, James Aspie has immaculate glutes. No, but seriously, I made a YouTube video about pancakes a couple days ago, not realizing that James Aspie had made a delectable Instagram post in how to make vegan pancakes very simply, and they look extremely delicious and scrumptious. So I would say go check out James Aspie's Instagram, the video I made over on my flagship channel, Dumb Vegan. Those pancakes are crap. Just go make the James Aspie pancakes. They're really easy. They look really nutritious, but most of all, they seem super simple. So I think that's a really, you know, positive thing for, you know, helping the mainstream out there to get excited about vegan recipes. I'm not saying that my pancakes weren't good. Oh, and I'm not saying that these pancakes aren't as good as James Aspie's. Although, let's not get ourselves. They're not as good as James Aspie's. Let's move on to our second story. Hampton Creek CEO Josh Tetrick of the newly named Just Foods brand, it's no longer called Hampton Creek Foods, has admitted to, well, I don't know if he's admitted, he's just shared the fact that he's been eating real faux gras. Now, we all know what faux gras is. This is the process by which they fatten the liver of geese, and it's not pretty. It's actually banned in the state of California where Joshua Tetrick actually lives. Has Josh Tetrick been violating California state law by consuming faux gras? According to Joshua Tetrick, CEO of formerly Hampton Creek Foods, now known as Just Foods, he has not been consuming this faux gras in the state of California. Now, obviously, Mr. Tetrick is doing this so that his fake meat uh, endeavors, trying to create lab-grown meat, and, and one of the things he's trying to create is faux gras, so obviously he wants his palate to be up to snuff and know what real faux gras tastes like so he can know if what his chef and his scientists are working on is, you know, good enough to be considered faux gras. Well, I mean, my commentary is I personally wouldn't do it, but clearly I'm not and never will be the CEO of a major food distribution company. I might be the CEO of like a small little company that sells vegan knickknacks and stuff or something, you know, to that degree. I don't know, like I can hope, right? I do want to just briefly mention the James Cameron documentary Game Changers because there's starting to be trailers surfacing for this documentary, kind of uh, entertainment documentary, sort of in the vein of, um, you know, what the bleep do we know, or forks over knives even, or something like that, or what the hell. This is showing that, you know, there can't really be any arguments for people saying like, oh, but you know, what, uh, yeah, I mean, sure, you can maybe be healthy on a vegan diet, but can you be at your optimal performance levels? And, you know, hopefully, and I believe that this documentary will show that indeed you can. Not that I am, just saying that people out there can. If they work really hard and they're, you know, really good athletic types that, you know, probably grew up doing sports and stuff. I was fantastic at basketball when I was about five years old, but then I retired. I just was like, that's, nope, that's the peak. That's, that's as good as I'll ever be. I gave up sports. I went to the basement and made funny videos. I'm still doing that today. I have not matured at all. And finally, let's go ahead and talk about our pal, Joey Carbstrong, who seems to have fully recovered from a couple of weeks ago, the media debacle of being on that morning show. I don't think that he really necessarily needed to recover, but as he even said himself in some Instagram posts, you know, he was feeling like a little bit mixed up about maybe the way that he carried himself or about the way that he's carried himself at least in the past on social media. But I think he's fully recovered. He seems to be doing really good. His social media seems to be in really good shape. And I have to say that from a personal level, I feel like this is the most positive um, you know, presentation of uh, himself that he's ever put out there on social media. He seems very confident, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where things go for Joey Carbstrong. Hopefully, he doesn't take two steps back just to take a step forward. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I actually think um, he's going to be doing very well, and it's actually a little bit inspiring. So thanks, Joey, and uh, the people out there like Earthling Ed, who are also tackling with, you know, some of this uh, criticism of being militant vegans and 
I'm not sure that Earthling is really getting too much criticism like that, but I can see that, uh, you know, potentially a similar situation with, with that, that Joey's had, maybe. It could be like something like that. So just watch out, Earthling Ed. Be careful. Uh, you know, don't, don't, don't slip down the, uh, the militant vegan path, right? Now, when it comes to somebody like Joey Carbstrong, does this guy's commentary really matter? No, of course not. But the message that I want to convey is that yours does. Just trying to, you know, get the pulse on what fellow vegans or veg curious people or people that are, you know, looking into the scene and see somebody like Joey Carbstrong doing his thing, you know, what is their take on it, you know? Because I feel like that helps us progress further forward to, you know, help make sure that we're creating a welcoming community and, and understanding, uh, you know, where people are at and what their interpretation of people putting their personalities out there are like. It's not that the intent is for an individual or, or people out there to try and influence somebody like Joey Carbstrong's content even, but to be able to at least share their voice about how they feel about somebody putting themselves out there in that way, I think could, uh, you know, offer a, alternate perspectives so that when people are looking in and checking these types of personalities out that, you know, maybe they are getting, you know, an alternate perspective that they can relate to, you know, regardless of how they feel about the, the person rising on social media very quickly. Hopefully this stuff makes sense. I think we all get what I'm trying to say here. I think we're obviously all trying to support the efforts of one another in some way or another. And yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. All right, so y'all guys, guys, let's go out there and have yourselves a killer day. Keep kicking butt. Here on Vegan Alert, we all want you to feel welcome. Maybe throw out the opportunity for you to come up with your own insights. Share those in the comments below or go out there and share them on your own social media. That's really kind of the point of this whole uh, endeavor, this little experiment that we call Vegan Alert. Yeah. Vegan Alert. Okay, see ya. Subscribe and like. Thumbs up and share.